you talk about the Expendables? I'm a fan. I grew up with all these guys. That's you're that's much too guy. young. No, that's my love because I grew up being the only child. My dad would loved watching Rambo. He oh, loved wow. he loved watching all these action films. Rocky. So it was our bonding time. <laughs> oh, good. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I love these actors, and I feel like this franchise is of this particular group that I think I'm part of. What do you think is the magic in it? I just think it's the um, sort of the core group, the camaraderie between them all. I think works. You know, it's like it's like old rock groups, like the Rolling Stones. You know, you see Mick Jagger go on a song, or Keith Richards going on, not quite as effective as if they get together. I think I think that kind of ensemble. There's a familiarity to it that I think people that resonates with people and they like and it makes them feel you know a part of. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's that's kind of what I feel about you know the Expendables franchise with that core group. Yeah, and and I think the genre itself, you know, I mean, you you hear so often, oh well, I guess you know that the genre is is not really that exciting anymore, this and that, but. Look, for, you know, 40, 50 years since these hardcore 80s, 90s action films happened to today, you know, whether it be Expendables or John Wick, there's a fan base there. And, it, and it's not just an old fan base because there are new fans always coming into the action genre. You know, people who kind of go, oh, yeah, I, I like Marvel and, and I like Marvel, but let's get some good old fashioned hardcore, you know, r-rated action and enjoy that much like you did with your father you know and and you just kind of you know hop on the bandwagon and enjoy it you're right it, there is a lot of the old-fashioned action which i think that's that's like the root of today's action yeah i, th I think people i know i do you know most of the movies i've done have been old-fashioned action i've never really been involved with a kind of superhero movie I, I wouldn't know how to do it, but, you know, it's, I know what I like to watch. So that's what I like to make, you know, there's, you sit and watch a, an action adventure, escapist movie, escapism. I just want to escape and be entertained for a couple of hours. I think that's, that's the key. You know, again, we're not saving private Ryan. It's not reality based, you know, it's fun. You know, we don't take ourselves seriously. We just want to entertain for a couple of hours you know, and, and let people have a fun ride. And, and that's what I like to watch. You know, and hopefully that's what we brought here. You get to also see Andy Garcia, who for me is like a romantic, that that manly voice that I could just listen to. I mean, you're just adding to all my, all my men. <laughs> oh, good. He's a lovely man as well, by the way. Andy Garcia is a lovely so man. Nice and and, and, you know, it, for us, that part of the casting of him bringing him into the fold as part of the Expendables sort of added a, a uh, I don't know, maybe a classier sort of character in there, you know, because a Andy is very classy and he's very, you know, very slick and, 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 and he comes across so well. I think it helps enhance the whole group, you know. Um, and and that was one of the actors we were very seriously considering, and and we thought a long time about it. And and once we got around to Andy, and we, you know, he was very happy to come on board. Yeah, no, he's a serious actor, Andy. You know, he did, he brought a lot of weight to this movie. You know, we are a fun action movie. You know, part whimsical and part real, and you know, he added a lot of gravitas to it. And he's just a great actor. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm thrilled I got to work with him. You're bringing in, in this case, a Latino. So how about a Latina kick-ass character in the future? Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. definitely up for that, 100%. Yeah, we're not we're not excluding or or you know writing anything off. I mean, Latina. It, it's it's more about you know the the actor itself whether it be you know and and we have a couple of female actresses obviously in this film it's story driven it's what the story demands um nancy 
you know, if, if, if we had a kick-ass movie with a Latina, I would love to do that. To have her in. Yes. I mean, I'm not complaining about what you guys are, are bringing in with Expendables 4. Not at all. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Look, yeah, you know no, what? I'd love to do one. We're not thinking about Expendables 5 yet. We've got our thing is Expendables 4 here. You know, it's this is for the fans. Once we get past Expendables 4, then then we'll think about Expendables 5. I mean, for us, it's again, it's not Kevin and Les's decision to make another Expendables. This is the, the, the fans. They'll decide. And then, you know, a lot of ideas will fly back and forth for characters and, and, and whatnot. Now, I have a favorite. I, you probably have a favorite. I will not put you in the spot to tell me who. <laughs> but I kind of changed for a minute of a favorite during this film. And that was the Thai Rambo. That's the vibe I got. I enjoyed that character. Tony Jaa? Yes. Uh, I got that. I got that Thai Rambo feel. Yes. Yeah, he. It, it, I couldn't have been happier. We both couldn't have been happy how that right. turned out. He was fantastic, Tony. You know, he was how that evolved. It was, you know, Tony was in it before Tony, but correct me if I'm wrong, Les, Tony was in it before Eco, before everyone else. He was in it. He was one of the first, if not the first, uh, uh, new sign for this film, rap. apart from the core, the core group. Yeah. And he's a lovable person, and you know. You see him on set, he's so humble, so nice, but you wouldn't want to cross him. And, but he, and, 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 but he, he's so likable, too. I, I wasn't sure, and, and I don't know if Kevin felt the same way, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect, how this was going to come across, and, but he played it so perfectly, and, 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 and again, he's so likable that you buy into the character, and, and, and he plays, you know, a a, a dark part of him and his character and then and yet there's a, a very likable light part of the character and and it's it's one of the more complex characters in in the film to be honest yeah no i didn't know he was going to turn out so good i mean it's one thing you know when you're on set looking at the monitor but when you're in the editing room and i'm saying to the editor holy shit this guy's great i mean it's just magic happens in the editing room i didn't realize he was going to turn out to be so cool now, can you talk to me a little bit about what you can share, what you know about the stunt coordinator, Alan? Oh, from the Jackie Ch Jackie Chan stunt team, he was oh, fantastic. Yeah, they were great. They were, yeah, they they were they added their martial arts flair. You saw the movie, so you saw that type of fighting. You know, it was very, you know, very flashy, very, you know, a lot of kicks, you know, a lot of flurries of punches, very Asian martial arts style fighting. That was, you know, Alan brought a lot of that. You know, all these guys came from Hong Kong and they came, you know, they did a lot of prep work a few weeks before, came with us to all our locales in England and Greece and Bulgaria. Um, so, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Hong Kong style of fighting, very prevalent in the movie. You could probably see it, Nancy. And, you know, he also managed to blend it very well with, for example, uh, Jason's style of fighting. You know, it added a little bit to Jason, but you, you have... You know, Jason and, 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 and fighting, you know, martial artists, true martial artists, and it comes off seamlessly. And, and it's all the choreography that they did. They were brilliant yeah. doing that. He and his team did, did such a fantastic job. And because it, sometimes, you know, if it's not done well, it, it's a little jarring, you know, to, to try and blend those two styles of fighting as seamlessly as they did. You know, if it's too ticky tacky, then it doesn't work. So you're right; it blended well with Jason's style of fighting. Yeah, it was like a silhouette of fighting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. An art. Yeah, yeah. We're exactly. Very... It is. It's a ballet. It's a dance. That's what fight choreography is. It's a dance. You know, it's you know everyone. You, you work in you know motion with each other. So to start uh, wrapping up, there's a must ask question. What's your fifty cent favorite song? In the club. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My favorite. Uh, uh, 50's great. I mean, 
he recently did a concert over on this side of the world and I attended it and he's fantastic. I mean, he's got so many good songs, but more than that, he's, he's such a pleasure to be around. I mean, not just as an actor, this, that it's just, you know, sitting down and chatting and he's, he's super accessible, super nice. And, and it's, uh, it, it was a real pleasure to have him. And he was super excited to join our franchise. Yeah, super excited. I mean, he, and he he was super excited. If you remember, Kevin, he said, "I'm going to promote this film like crazy, like crazy." And then the strike happened. So you have me and Kevin, and not fifty. Yeah. <laughs> you got the bottom of the bottle, Nancy. You could have had fifty. You know what? Though? I can't complain because if you think about it, if they weren't for you as the producers, then this would not be here. Well, yes, we have the writers, you. we have the actors, we have everyone else. But if you guys don't come up with the dough, <laughs> the money, then there's nothing. Well, it's it's a massive collaboration. That's a little simplified. I wish I could say it was me and Les. I wish I could take all the credit. Unfortunately, there's there's many, many moving parts. There's many different people that put it together. Um, I'm happy to talk to you, but yeah. I'm okay not having 50 Cent and having you too, okay? So oh, thank please. you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you thank for... Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.